Jira for Agile Testing What is Jira? Why quality assurance testers need to learn Jira for Agile Testing? Why is it necessary for testers to learn Agile Testing? What is Agile Testing? Jira Methodologies A comprehensive guide for software testers, learning Scrum, Kanban and bug tracking tool. In this video, I will discuss all the above points that are important to know as a software tester as you begin with the software development or software testing journey. In this what is Jira? Jira is a product created by Atlassian for tracking issues, bugs and managing agile projects. It was first released in 2002 as a platform for tracking issues for software developers, but has since grown into a powerful tool for project management. Teams use Jira to plan, track, release and support software with confidence. Jira software is the most popular version of Jira and is used by agile teams to manage Scrum, Kanban and other agile methodologies. There are also other versions of Jira such as Jira Core, Jira Service Management, Jira Align and Jira Work Management. I hope this helps you understand what Jira is. Jira Methodologies Jira supports several agile methodologies including Scrum and Kanban. Scrum is a method of software development that focuses on collaboration, flexibility and customer satisfaction through an iterative and incremental approach. Kanban is a visual system for managing work that helps teams balance demand with available capacity. Both methodologies can be effectively managed using Jira. Jira offers a range of features and capabilities that can help software testers to work more efficiently and effectively. By learning how to use Jira for issue tracking, project management and collaboration, testers can improve their ability to deliver high quality software on time and within budget. Learning Scrum or Kanban and Bug Tracking Tool Scrum and Kanban are two popular agile methodologies that can be effectively managed using Jira. By learning how to use Jira's Scrum and Kanban boards, testers can improve their ability to collaborate with their team members and deliver value to their customers. Jira also offers powerful bug tracking capabilities that allow testers to track and manage issues throughout the development process. Why testers needs to learn Jira for agile testing? Jira is a widely used tool for managing agile projects and it is essential for QA testers to be familiar with it. By learning Jira, testers can effectively collaborate with their team members, track and manage issues and ensure that the testing process is aligned with the overall project goals. Agile testing is an approach to software testing that emphasizes collaboration, flexibility and customer satisfaction. By learning agile testing techniques, testers can ensure that they are delivering high quality software that meets the needs of their customers. Agile testing also helps testers to work more efficiently and effectively, allowing them to deliver value to their customers faster. In the new era of testing methodology, testers needs to learn agile testing by using the Jira tool, which is basically a project management tool by Atlassian. In order to keep up with the new technologies every day, the quality assurance team needs to work with the very best tools that can help developers build their products in the best possible ways, which will also ensure quality in each build. Also, it helps the developers to finish the product within time by ensuring quality and speeding up the process of development. It helps developers or the testers to test their codes continuously and rapidly. Because of its versatility and ease of integration, Jira is a great solution for agile testing initiatives. What is agile testing? Agile testing is a software testing approach that follows the principles of agile software development. It emphasizes collaboration between developers and testers, flexibility, 
in the testing process and they focus on delivering value to the customer. Agile testing involves continuous feedback and improvement, allowing teams to quickly adapt to changing requirements and deliver high quality software. In other words, Agile testing is a way to test software that follows the rules of Agile software development. This method lets testers get feedback from customers right away. In this type of testing, different team members have different jobs to do. Agile testing is different from the waterfall method because it can start right when the project begins. This is done by constantly combining development and testing. In Agile testing, everyone on the team helps out and testers bring their special skills to make sure that the customers gets what they want regularly and at a good pace. Testers need to learn Jira because it helps them to do their job. Jira is a tool that helps with project management. Testers use it to review requirements, write test cases and assign work to other testers. They also need to know the user stories and look at the product backlog. Jira has extra tools you can use to help with agile testing. One of these tools is called Zephyr for Jira. It helps teams set up a system for automating tests and combining development and testing. This tool can help make tests, plan when to do them, find and fix problems, and keep track of how well the tests are working. Jira is a good way to manage agile testing because it is flexible and powerful. It helps team members work together. Testers should be familiar with static testing, which involves reviewing documents such as SRS, BRT, and the product backlog. They should apply the invest technique to the user stories to ensure their quality. This technique verifies that a user story is independent, negotiable, valuable, estimable, small, and testable. Testers should also review user stories and write acceptance criteria for them. Let me explain you that the invest technique is a mnemonic that stands for independent, negotiable, valuable, estimable, small and testable. It is a set of criteria used to evaluate the quality of user stories. If a user story does not meet one or more of these criteria, it may need to be rephrased or rewritten. The invest technique helps ensure that user stories are well written and can be effectively implemented in an agile development process. It was first introduced by Bill Wake in 2003 and later recommended by Mike Kahn in his book, User Stories Applied in 2004. Also, in some organizations, testers may also be responsible for writing requirements and user stories. They may even take on roles such as Scrum Master or Product Owner. Therefore, it is important for testers to learn about agile testing tools like Jira. There are many techniques in agile development that can help improve the efficiency and effectiveness of software development. Some popular agile methodologies include Scrum, Kanban, Extreme Programming, Lean Development and Crystal. Each methodology has its own special features and uses. There are also other techniques that can help speed up delivery and improve the quality of the product, such as regularly checking and adopting, aligning development with the needs of customers and the goals of the company, placing resources together, organizing and being accountable, being a team player, getting rid of waste and unnecessary formalities, showing results through experience, and keeping the customer involved. Let us now create the project in Jira, choosing a Scrum template and selecting a company-managed project. So I am using Jira software by Atlassian. You need to sign up for Jira in order to create an account. As I have already created an account, I am now going to sign in and use this tool for my test management team. I will quickly show you how to create your first project in Jira by Atlassian. Now I am inside the Jira tool and going to create a new project. There are some old projects that I worked on. 
but to explain to you how to create the project i will explain it again simply click on view all projects then click create a project you see there are three types of projects that we can choose from kanban scrum and bug tracking so these are three project management methodologies kanban scrum and bug tracking are ways to manage projects in jira kanban uses a board with cards and columns to show how work is moving through the process each column is a step in the process and each card is a task the goal of kanban is to limit how much work is being done at once manage the flow of work and make the rules clear Scrum is a way to manage complex projects. It uses short periods of time called sprints where the team works on tasks. At the end of each sprint, the team looks at their work and plans for the next sprint. Bug tracking is finding, reporting and fixing software bugs. Jira has a template for bug tracking that helps teams report, track and fix bugs. The template has a board, backlog, roadmap and reports to help teams keep track of bugs. Bug tracking is when you use Jira to keep track of defects. Jira is a tool that helps you track the defect life cycle. You can create defects and tasks in Jira. Jira is like Trello in this way. All three ways can be used in Jira to manage projects, but they have different focuses. Kanban focuses on managing workflow, Scrum provides structure through sprints and meetings, and bug tracking focuses on fixing software defects. The Scrum managing template in Jira is used a lot for agile testing because it is a powerful tool for managing projects. It helps teams work together, see what's happening and track progress. Jira has everything you need to manage tasks, user stories and epics, which are important parts of Scrum. The Scrum Managing Template in Jira has boards, backlogs, roadmaps and reports to help team plan, track and manage work. This makes it easy for teams to follow the Scrum framework and deliver value to the customers often. Overall, the Scrum Managing Template in Jira is important because it gives teams the tools they need to manage their work using Scrum. The so now as you see I'm going to use a scrum template for my project management. Also before that I will give you some introduction about using this project management template so that you understand how it works. As I explained before the scrum template helps team work together using sprints to break down large complex projects into bite-sized pieces of value. As you see it's explained here that Encourage your team to learn through incremental delivery, self-organize while working on a problem and regularly reflect on their wins and loses to continuously improve. In Scrum template, you see we have the product backlog, organize cycles of work into sprints. Each sprint should last within one week to four weeks max. And you can understand your team's velocity by creating a velocity chart. On the right hand side, you see the issue types are given like epic, story, bug, task and subtask. And these are the types of issues. In other words, when talking about Jira, the issue types could be anything like the epics, user stories, bugs or defects, tasks and subtasks. And all these are different types of issues that we can document in Jira. Below is the workflow that is the to-do list, then in progress and then done. So we can mark the workflow as we do our testing. Now I'm simply going to choose this scrum template for my project. We are now in the next page and below we see there are types of projects given from which we can choose one that is the company managed project and the other is team managed project. Jira has two types of projects team managed and company managed. 
In team managed projects, a small team takes care of everything. In company managed projects, there is a person in charge of managing the project, like a product owner, a scrum master. This type of project is used for big projects with many teams that depends on each other. Also, company managed projects are the older type of project in Jira and are used by most projects. So it's a good idea to choose a company managed project. If you scroll down below the two projects, you may go through the differences and benefits between these two types of projects. As you see in company managed project, setup is done and maintained by Jira admins, whereas in team managed project, anyone on your team can set up and maintain. In company managed projects, there is a complete control over issue types and custom fields, whereas in team managed project, there is an easy setup for issue types and custom fields, etc. Also, there is an advanced feature in company managed, like you may pull in issues from other projects on your board, whereas in team managed project, it only show your project's issues on your board. In company managed, it shows a comprehensive agile reporting, whereas in team managed project, it shows only essential agile reporting, etc. Let me also help you understand the differences between comprehensive agile reporting in Jira in a company managed project and essential agile reporting in a team managed project. Jira has extensive reporting capabilities that help improve project management. These reports help track and monitor project progress, provide an overview of backlogs, and allow for better estimation of future project completion. Jira software has a variety of pre-built reports such as burndown charts, velocity charts, and control charts. These reports provide insights into project progress, team performance, and resource allocation. In a company managed project, you can manage insights using the view aggregated data permission. This permission allows users to access data at the project and issue levels. When this permission is enabled, anyone who is granted the permission will have access to insights and some reports. In a team managed project, agile reporting is important for effective stakeholder management by actively engaging stakeholders. With the time tracking and reporting apps that build on Jira, product owners can access detailed and accurate reports quickly. These apps allow product owners to track progress, generate visual reports, and share various agile reporting metrics with stakeholders. So I will choose a company managed project and, and naming my project as project 5 as an example. And the key is generated automatically as you see this below. Now I will click on next and then go to the project. Also it mentions here that the project is being created and now we can go to the project. And this way our project is created and now we are inside the project. In my upcoming videos, I will show you how to report bugs and create epics in Jira tool. Like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads. Thank you for watching.